Hello and welcome to this video for in the Tableau for Sports series on a bee swarm plot. So what we're going to be creating today is not dissimilar to something I've done previously. So if we jump into this dashboard here, this was something I had made before in a scouting dashboard. You can see we've got all of these dots represent a player and you've got you know whatever the measure true balls played here or crosses and so on. And we need a way to be able to you know, separate out these dots so they're not all along one line. So essentially what we do here is we kind of fake the y-axis uh, to kind of spread them out. And I've come across a much nicer way to do this. Uh, it's known as a bee swarm plot. And a lot of credit has to go to Ninad, N-I-N-A-D. Hope I haven't butchered that name too much. Um, on his tutorial here in terms of he has a great tutorial on how to do this. And um, I'm just going to show you in video format, but I'll link to this blog. But really, it's this calculation here that we're going to use uh, that's going to help us create a much nicer kind of bee swarm um, plot as we go through here. So let's jump into Tableau and let's have a look. So for this, I'm going to pick a measure. It doesn't really matter which one, but in this case, let's go for goals per 90 minutes. And I want, at the moment, Tableau sums up this entire bar. I want a dot per player basically. So let's put player onto detail and change the two circles. And you can see here, I do start to get some circles, but there's a lot that will overlap. Okay. So it's not very spread out. So it's hard to see, you know, how many players are at any of these particular levels. Okay. They're all kind of stacked on top of each other. So this will help us uh, spread them out. So let's go and just grab this. I'm not going to go through why it works right now uh, but we'll just go and grab it i'm going to create a calculated field and i'm just going to call it bee swarm and we'll copy and paste this in here okay click ok and let's add bee swarm to the rows here all right now the only thing is we need to this is this little triangle that appears here known as a table calculation and table calculations compute in certain directions again it's for a different tutorial but really what we need to change here is we need to compute using each player and now you can see we get this really spread out view so the actual axis here doesn't matter you know it's going from minus 500 up to plus 500 but it doesn't really matter we can right click and untick that we've got a lot of dots here at zero Okay, so you have a couple of choices. You can obviously leave them in. The other thing you could do is take your goals per 90 and just filter out zeros. Okay, so we might make this uh, at least 0 0.0001, something like that, and apply. And you can see we get rid of anybody who, who's, who's zero. That may or may not be something you want to do. In my case, I'm going to leave that off. Okay, so now I'm going to right click and format and we can just tidy up the lines really. So I'm going to get rid of the grid lines and I want to get rid of the zero line as well. Okay, I also have an axis line here. And that will be on the columns. We can get rid of that. Where's the row? Yeah, that's going to be there. And zero gone. Okay, make this entire view. We've now got the data nicely spread out. So all the players are kind of spread across. Uh, it's a small little change from this one, but I, I think it makes it look much, much nicer. So if we jump back to Tableau, then we can go and, and do some filtering. So I might add a, a very light border on this. And again, we could change the color of the dots if you want. And then we have our bee swarm plot. So you could go and repeat that if you watched my previous tutorial that I've made around this particular video here. And um, you could go and repeat this and I think make it look a little bit nicer. So one additional thing here is we might want to compare players. Now again, I'm only going to do this in one chart, but you might want to compare um, players across a number of charts. So how would we do that? So what we want to do is create a parameter. And we're going to say pick player one. I'm going to make 
make it a string. It's going to be a list, and that list is going to come from our list of players. Okay, so it's essentially going to generate this list of players every time we open the workbook. So we're going to click OK, and I'm actually going to duplicate that and just change the name of it to pick player two. Okay, so we've got two parameters. Let's right click and show parameter control, right click show parameter control. So we've got player one, Aaron Connolly, and Lana as player two. Okay, now you can see nothing, nothing changes here, okay, in the view. So the parameter is created, so that creates our kind of pick list. And then the next thing is we want to create a calculated field. Um, all this selected players. And we can say if pick player one equals the player, then one, else pick player two equals player, then two, else three. Okay, and all this is doing. Maybe that should be an else if. Okay, all this is doing is saying if the first parameter, if it's Aaron Connolly, we're going to mark it as number one. If it's Adam Ladana, mark it as number two, and obviously whatever they change to. If it's anybody else, which should be everybody else, it'll be number three. So we can click OK to that. Selected players. I'm going to make that a dimension. I'm going to put selected players on the color. And now I just want to pick my colors. So let's make three. I'm going to make this a really faded out gray. And then we can go and pick our two other colors. And as long as they're bright, I don't think it'll matter um, too much what they are. Let's go with blue. Yeah, blue and orange is fine. Click OK. And there we have our two players selected. So if I go and pick, let's pick Oxley Chamberlain. See, that's what happens there. So I pick somebody who doesn't have a zero. Let me get rid of that. So you see he appears a zero. So you may want to leave those zeros there. Uh, Anthony Martial goes player one and player two. Okay, you can mess around with other things like the size, but that's how you can get two parameters. And you could build up an entire dashboard, again, to make it look something like this one, um, where you've got five or six or ten measures in there, uh, but you're able to pick two players and have them highlighted within here. Okay, hopefully that was useful. I'll catch you again soon.